Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my purchases, trades and finds videos. So in these videos I will show all the coins that I've bought recently or have gotten trades or have happened to find uh, out in everyday life. Uh, so for this video there's going to be the normal Euro coins but there's going to be a lot of British coins as well uh, from a recent trip I took to Wales. Uh, now, one thing you might notice, the camera setup is going to be a little bit different because I'm trying out a new uh, phone camera holder. So if it looks a bit different, that is why. And if I like how it goes or if it goes well, you will see this new setup in Coin Hunt, Coin Hunt videos come September. Uh, yes, I do record that far in advance. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think let's get started anyway with the purchases I've made uh, over the past few weeks. Okay, so let's see, grab the first one, <laughs> uh, oh god, where is it, there we go, okay, so not 2022 coins, but some from 2021 that I had were missing, so uh, let's see, the first one here is from Finland, uh, this is for the set to mark the centenary of self-government in the Alund region, I think, or Alund, 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 I think it's Alund, uh, that is the sweet, the Swedish uh, speaking part of Finland. They're a little group of islands uh, off the southeast coast of Finland. Uh, I think they're like a, like a territory, they're treated as a Finnish territory. Uh, but yeah, uh, so obviously they've been ruling themselves kind of within Finland since 1921. Cool. It's a nice, uh, nice design. Um, I think to, <laughs> to say that's like islands, you get boats and the, and the sea. But yeah, again, nice ad addition to the collection. I think there's 800,000 of these or so. So, um, yeah, another 2021 coin. And then the second coin here from 2021 is one from Slovakia. Uh, this is to mark the centenary of the birth of Alexander Dubek, du Dubček. Dubček. Uh, he was a famous uh, Czechoslovakian politician, um, particularly around the time of the... The Prague uprising, you know, he tried to reform the communist government of Czechoslovakia, but uh, was removed from power because of it. And uh, again, he played an important role in the Velvet Revolution and the overthrow of the communist government and the aftermath of that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just another 20 with 21 coin got. Okay, next up, we'll move on to some of the 2022 coins I've bought uh, recently. Uh, so first up, we have um, one from uh, Lithuania. This is to mark the centenary of uh, basketball in Lithuania. So to mark the 100 years since the first basketball was bought in Lithuania. <laughs> no, I joke. <laughs> it's the 100 years since the first official basketball game was played in Lithuania. I think basketball is absolutely huge in Lithuania. It's the most popular sport. Uh, which I find a bit of an anomaly. With basketball, you always, you always associate it with, like, North America. Uh, but no, apparently it's a big thing in the Baltic states, uh, particularly Lithuania. But cool, yeah. <laughs> it's nice to turn the, the outline of the country into a basketball um, pitch, would you call it? Uh, basketball court? That's it. <laughs> no, cool. And an, an unusual, unusual team coin for Euro coin, I would say. Now we move on to the two 2022 uh, Camaro coins from uh, from it Italy, sorry, <laughs> the unique ones at least we're getting this year. Uh, so the first one here is for the 170th anniversary of the National Police Force of Italy. Um, now I will say why 170 years they felt the need to mark it on a coin, I would have waited maybe another five years, uh, the 175th anniversary sounds you know more momentous if you get me um this i i get the feeling it's kind of like a forced commemorative coin like they just put it out for the sake of it um and i'm not a fan of the design either um i really loved the, the carabinieri design from 2014 and um, they did a great job with this but with this one i'm a little bit disappointed um Sorry, Italy. <laughs> I'm normally a big fan of your commemorative coins, but I just I don't like like this one at all. But um, I have to I have to get it, you know, if I want uh, a com complete collection of coins. 
And then the second unique Italian commemorative coin we're getting this year is one to mark the 30th anniversary of the deaths of uh, Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino. Borselli uh, there were two judges, uh, federal judges, I think, that helped, you know, fight against the mafia, uh, which was uh, rampant, I guess, in that time in Italian history, the 90s, 80s. Uh, and for that part, they were both assassinated uh, within a short span of each other. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess it's, it's you know decent that they're getting a commemorative coin. But um, I kind of like with the other the other Italian coin. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the design. Um, a little bit of a rough year for Italy, I think. But um, you know, it doesn't take away from the achievements of the two men on the coin, the two judges. But um, no, um, I don't know about Italy this year. <laughs> Sorry, again, Italians. <laughs> right, and the final 2022 coin, or the final coin I've bought, uh, Euro coin I've bought anyway, <laughs> is this one from Belgium. Uh, this is to mark, well, this is to celebrate the healthcare workers, uh, the Belgian healthcare workers for the past couple of years with the pandemic. And uh, yeah, basically titled just the health sector. And unusually for Belgium, I think these coins are going into circulation as well. I think there might be 2 million going into circulation. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's a nice enough design, I guess. Uh, interesting enough. <laughs> but yeah, I think I have got the French language version. I think you can also get a Dutch, but it looks like both French and Dutch is on the coin, on the coin card. But no, uh, that is it. That is the kind of Euro coin purchases I've made over the past few weeks. Okay, so now we'll move on to um, a trade I did. Uh, now, this is a trade with uh, Saxo Benji. Uh, not his real name, it's his Discord username. Uh, we're both members of the Eurocoins Discord server. Uh, I think I mentioned this nearly in every purchases, trades and find videos. But uh, it's a great little community of Euro coin collectors or coin collectors in general. So I will leave a link to it in the description and I think you should check it out. Uh, it's really good. Uh, like plenty of trades and talk about Euro coins in general. But uh, no, I did a little trade with Saxo Benji uh, for some world coins. Uh, I sent him some Irish, old Irish coins and he sent me a mix of different countries. So um, I will show you some of the highlights and I will I think I'll include these in World Coin Hunt videos. Okay, so uh, let's see what was nice. <laughs> well, we have this one from Luxembourg uh, from before the Euro. Uh, is it Luxembourgish franc? So there we have one of the Grand Dukes. I think this is Jean or Jean, Grand Duke Jean. Cool, it's the first, the first old Luxembourgish coin I have actually. <laughs> Um, what else was nice? Oh, we have a, a Tolar coin from Slovenia, a five Tolar coin here. I think that is quite the goat, is it, <laughs> or something? No. Uh, let's see, a, a lovely old Greek coin as well. But no, no, they're really nice uh, mix of coins. Uh, I, I just picked some from countries I didn't have or, you know, just types, but... Uh, yeah, I'll be taking a closer look at these in some World Coin Hunt videos. So yeah, keep an eye out for them. They're the videos I actually enjoy making the most these days, is the World Coin Hunt videos, just because of the, the, the amount of variety you can come across. But uh, Saxo Benji also sent me some lovely stamps. Uh, I, I do have a little bit of an appreciation for stamps, <laughs> just if they look pretty. But the uh, first one here is one from France, which looks great. Uh, just the colours are amazing and the design. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of dedicated to um, uh, General Charles de Gaulle. I think it must be the fifth anniversary of his death, uh, released in 1977. But no, really, really just cool design, cool, lovely colours there. And we have a couple from Finland, actually. <laughs> so I want to assume, assume that the guy on the stamp there is a, a president, maybe a former president. Maybe I'm sure the, the Finns watching will know. And we also have, a, 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 I guess I want to say an Olympics or skiing based stamp there. <laughs> and then quickly, the final one is one from Algeria, which is pretty cool. 
I think maybe he got it. Uh, Sakta Benji is from France, and I think Algeria used to be a French colony, so maybe that's how um, he's ended up with it somehow, <laughs> passed down. But no, that's that's pretty cool. But again, thank you for the, the coins, uh, Saxo Benji, and for the lovely stamps. Okay, so now we'll move on. Uh, now, do bear with me <laughs> for this. Now, I know a lot of you are here for Euro coins, and you're going to be seeing a lot of British coins now, uh, because I took a trip to Wales to visit the Royal Mint, the location of where the British coins are made, and they have a, a great visitor center that you can actually go and see uh, coins being produced, <laughs> so which is pretty cool. So I think the day that we went there, uh, well, I met a load of British coin tubers actually, and the day that we went there, they were making 10p coins, but also coins for Suriname, because they make a lot of coins for other countries, uh, some European countries actually as well. Uh, but yeah, no, if you're ever in Wales, <laughs> outside of Cardiff, uh, go check it out. Now, part, as part of the tour of the mint, you get the opportunity to actually strike your own coin, to mint your own coin. Uh, now, by I say mint, I mean press the button that operates the machine that stamps the coin, which is it's still pretty cool. So the design that they had for the day that I went on the tour was this one. It's to a £2 coin to mark the 150th anniversary of the FA Cup, the big football championship that is in the UK. But no, this would be pretty cool that uh, I actually, this is the coin that I made. <laughs> no. But also there, they have a like a big shop. It's hard not to buy a whole load of stuff, but I did buy a couple of items. So first one here, it's a five pound coin. Uh, this is the Queen's Beast coin. Uh, now it marks all the mythical and animal, mythical animals and real life animals that are on British heraldry of the royal family. So there you can see all of them together. Really cool design. And I think each uh, each element's got its own coin uh, as well. But I just went for the the finisher one <laughs> that's got all of them on it. But no, then the packaging you can see all the info. There's the designer, <laughs> but no, there's all the rest. But uh, it was from watching uh, British coin tubers uh, talking about this coin that made me actually want to get it because it looked really attractive. Um, but yeah, <laughs> happy with that. And then let's see, I'll just get this back in its packaging. Then the other coin I bought, it's another five pound coin. Uh, this is a proof coin and it's called the Four Nations coin. So in, on it you can see the four animals, are real and mythical, <laughs> of the four nations of the UK. So you have the English lion, the Scottish unicorn, <laughs> the stag for Northern Ireland, and the Welsh dragon. And I think this was the design that was released on the last £1 coin of the old design before they completely changed the £1 coin. And then they released it onto a £5 coin this year. But no, I'll just tell... A little bit more just in, in terms of the Royal Mint history, I think it looks looks like. But no, really I don't I don't have owned many proof coins, so it was a pretty nice addition. Okay, so that was the the purchases I kinda made while while in the UK. Now as I kinda kinda just previously mentioned, I did meet a lot of British coin tubers uh, while I was there. Uh, some of them were pretty influential in me actually starting this channel. So it was great to meet them in person. I filmed a few coin hunts with them. You might I think they should be all out by the time this video comes in. I've been posting links to them. Uh, no, it was great great to hunt through British coins. It's a, ni a nice change from Euro coins. Uh, but also while there I did do a few swaps with them. Uh, I kind of <laughs> stocked up on my British coins. <laughs> right, so the first one was from uh, Russ. Now, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he's a big collector. And I got a few, we did a little swap of coins. He He's big into Euro coins, so I was able to help him out a lot. But uh, some of the coins I got from him, um, well, we start with this one. It's a, another £5 coin. Uh, this is to mark the Queen, Queen Elizabeth's 70th birthday. Um, which was in 1996, I think. She's always been old in my mind. <laughs> in 96 now, 70 years on the throne. But no, she was 70 in the 90s. She was old when I was born. 
But no, it's pretty cool. I think I liked all the flags on the coin. I think that's what attracted me to it. Uh, he also gave me a 50p coin. Uh, this is part of the series on Beatrix Potter, the famous writer, uh, a writer of Peter Rabbit and those stories. So we have the Tailor of Gloucester, one of the characters from the stories. Now, although he's British, I did actually <laughs> end up with, weirdly, a lot of Euro coins from him. Uh, these ones are from Cyprus. <laughs> and actually, some of them are pretty decent. Let's see, I have... Uh, well, there's a 2015 coin, which has apparently is a mintage of 100,000. So that's amazing. I don't know how we ended up with these. <laughs> uh, we have a 2021 coin. Uh, not a hundred thousand, about I think three million, but it's a uh, nice. Have a very recent coin from Cyprus, uh, 2019, 1 1.4 million, so not too bad. And um, yeah, decent enough one to have, low lowish enough mintage. Uh, we have another 2015 coin, another one that's a hundred thousand. So I have two of them. <laughs> uh, to, uh, what is that? That's 2013. This is another one that has a mintage of a hundred thousand. And then last couple, I think, uh, a 2020 coin, 3 million, I think. And finally, just, yeah, just another 2019 coin, uh, 1.4 million again. But yeah, uh, a <laughs> bit unexpected to end up with a load of Cypriot coins coming back from the UK. But no, I won't say no. And again, of course, a nice £5 coin and the 50p coin, the Taylor of Gloucester. So again, thank you to Russ for them. Okay, so next up is uh, a small little trade I did with a British coin tuber. <laughs> so this is Angel, a coin collector's journey. And she gave me this uh, signed coin as well. What's it? Which is a Benjamin Bunny, actually. Uh, the most common British 50p commemorative coin. But no, uh, <laughs> she gave me my first Olympics coin, actually. Uh, or a Paralympic coin, to be exact. This is a, a Go Ball. Um, apparently it's played by uh, blind people and I think there's a bell in the ball and um, yeah I don't know the exacts of the game <laughs> but no it's pretty cool that was my first my first ever Olympics coin and then the other one is another Peter Rabbit coin another Beatrix Potter and this is just uh, the tales of Peter Rabbit but no, they're great. So <laughs> yeah, make sure to check out her channel. I think I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. So uh, again, thank you for them, Angel, at Co A Coin Collector's Journey. Okay, and finally, it's uh, a trade I did with uh, another coin tuber, uh, Grossy Coin Hunt. Uh, now, I've filmed a couple of videos actually with him, uh, as well, along with Christopher Collects as well. I'll leave links to those uh, channels. But uh, no, Grossy <laughs> helped me out so much. Uh, in terms of a load of two pound coins and 50 pence coins. And then I was able to give him a load of um, two euro coins. Okay, well, I'll show you some of the highlights actually. A uh, bit of a topical one here actually. Uh, this 50 pence coin to mark the 70th anniversary. Uh, well, no, I'll, I'll just say the platinum jubilee. That's a bit easier. 70 years of Queen Elizabeth on the throne of the UK. Uh, released this year of course 2022 uh, he also gave me this brilliant coin this probably one of my favorite 50p coins uh, this is one it is for sir isaac newton i think it's just an amazing design and then what else we have another one of my favorites uh this is to mark the anniversary of the great fire of london i think the 350th anniversary maybe yeah, 1666 to 2016. And I think just the design is brilliant. Just like just so much detail on it. But no, it's great. Uh, oh, and I should also say another Olympics coin. This is Olympic Pentathlon, which is I think it's a sport they're kind of reviewing about re removing from the Olympics just because it it was a little bit of a disaster in T in Tokyo. But uh, no, <laughs> I had a little bit of a funny mistake with this. I. I called it Olympic sword fighting <laughs> uh, because there's fencing included in it. But no, uh, great to have another Olympics coin. But yeah, oh, and <laughs> another one that's actually a highlight. It's a, a Jemima Puddle Duck, uh, one of the most sought after 50Ps uh, that I ha happened to find in this coin hunt with him. 
But no, that's it. But like also some other lovely, lovely coins here as well. So we'll show some of the two pound coins. Uh, I know a bit of a small UK audience who watch my videos, so yeah, you're probably appreciating these. And uh, well, if you're more of a fan of the Euro coins, uh, hopefully you'll check out these channels. You know, uh, Christopher Collects, Grossy, of course, here, uh, a coin collector's journey, and um, yeah, get into British coins as well. <laughs> And then just some of the other 50p coins that I got. Uh, I think of another Tales of Peter Rabbit there, but uh, yeah, some other different ones. But no, that's great. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Grossy for like doing the swap with me. I uh, hope he enjoys all the two euro coins I gave him. <laughs> but also thank you for doing a, coin a couple of coin hunts uh, with me. And uh, also to Christopher as well for uh, doing a coin hunt with me as well. So uh, yeah, that is it. That is all the British related stuff. <laughs> okay, so that is that for this purchases, trades and finds video. Um, I know it's a little bit of a mixed bag, <laughs> a lot of British stuff there, more than usual. Uh, but uh, sure, let me know down in the comments what your favourite coin was from today. Or if you found anything nice or even bought or traded something nice yourself over the past uh, few weeks. But uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, keep an eye out for my regular two euro coin hunt videos. And um, yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching.